Part 4, Gene Lightning, part 2 of Rick Derringer's guitar solo. At, at the end of the first half there, um, I played the end of part 2 rather than the end of part 1. So after the bit that goes... I played that... the end of part two. Why actually plays is this, so I do apologise. Right, very bluesy. Um, up to the A. Little snap in the B note. As soon as you hit that one, the E. That's like we're, we're looking for. So we yeah. And that one, right? And so that is a little snap of the beat. Shoes right the E. Snap of the F sharp. A G. And then. <coughs> at this point, we're going to run it and then go. This is why I think it's Rick Derringer, because it's got so much attitude and because of what comes next. So if we go to the next pick, pick the next pick up, not the next go. And go straight into that line. So the band's still playing. Right. What comes after that? Um, is this now I think that's genius just takes his hand down and go and just decides out of peak just to hit, hit, hit the open strings and then the second part so here's the first part I like doing that bit, right? Next line. Right? This sounds like it's got a lot of notes, but it, it hasn't really, it's terribly reminiscent to me of Eric Clapton. So slowly, Rick plays. Playing very much in the pocket, very much like an Eric Clapton. Very much like an Eric Clapton, lit like that. So we've got snap it. Then and we end on that G. So you get a very bluesy, kind of frenzied um, turn of notes. And we an end on that G note. What comes next? I would say it's pure written down here. Right? I see that as being off a D Mixolydian scale. Now you might say, well, C minor, which is, you know, as you know, the same notes. This is... That, when they hit this bit, <coughs> for some reason, um, the reason being that he's a fabulous player, Rick plays... So we're going B to D. Using the notes of this E minor scale. Now you could go, or you could slide. Right? So the whole line is.
When he gets down to the bottom, he then comes up rapido. <laughs> So it's like, this is not very technical, but I would say go as fast as you can. And then. And then. So we get this, climb down, climb back up, as I say, three rapido, and then play this. So we're getting like a D chord. And they're very melodic. Right? So when we get down the bottom. We're nearly at the end. We then get. Which is kind of an anagram of the. But this time. The first note is, is a different note. This time the first note is A sharp. A flat. Right? And then... And the same again. But at some point you've got to jump from there to here. And that's the end of the solo, right? <clears throat> so I, I'm sorry I can't be any more helpful than that, but it's like the whole line would be. But just at the end, it jumps right back up in the neck, the neck again. And So that's as close as I can get it <coughs> to um, the Chain Lightning uh, guitar solo, which I'm going to say on the record here, I think is by Rick Derringer, but as I say, I, I could be, be proven wrong in that. Um, that line, that's a real Rick line. If, you, if you're a big Rick Derringer fan, you'll have heard and see him play that line, you're going up a, a, a tone and then down and, and down and down, so... You're doing that obviously, you play a D, you don't play the sharp like E flat like that. That one, right? Um, as I say, he then um, comes back as quick as he can, <coughs> and then instead of... We get this. We get that choice of notes instead. It's rhythmically similar and stylistically it's very similar, it's just a different choice of notes. It's very tempting to play the first bit twice, but that, and, and that would fit. But that's not what he does. Um, and then as I say... But... We have to end on, on, on that one. So, as close as I can get it, that is um, the chords and guitar solo to uh, Steely Dan's Chain Lightning and it would be a great song for a cover band to play as I say, I, you know, I'm not saying because it's easy because it's certainly far from easy but because it's, it's got the one bit, you know, you could, you could rehearse it and get those guitar solos um, it's going to be very like it and they need the vocal harmonies and, and the whole feel so there you go, maybe not as easy as I said but it's still a great song um, and you know, if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs>